Our star turn tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put our hands together and welcome Woody Stevens. <laughs> I like it when eventually you do get your new car and you turn up down the pub. It's in our pub, it's probably the same as yours. Somebody comes in a new car, in the car park, everyone's all out with their pint, all gathering around it. Hey, look at that! Oh, love that! Hey, look at the wheels on that! Wow! What's it go like, does it? <laughs> all right. Hey, love that! <laughs> all that, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely, yeah, smash it! Brilliant. However, if they come down the pub with a new girlfriend, we're supposed to go, hello, pleased to meet you. Apparently, it's unacceptable to be standing around saying, Whoa, look at that! What's it go like? Does it? Look at the bumpers on that! Can I have a go? Apparently, I've been told that's unacceptable behaviour. Very unusual for a female, but my daughter, believe it or not, hates shopping. She will not go to the shops. I've tried everything, bribery, threats, you name it. The only way that I can get her to come to the shops with me is that I have to agree that when we're at the shops, we pretend we're on horseback. <laughs> she loves horses, it's easy. Yeah, okay, come to the shops, pretend we're on horseback. Now, I have to be honest, it's a bit embarrassing when you're at the shops. <laughs> you know what I mean? People are looking at you and it's, it ain't right, you know. But listen, let me tell you, after a while, after a few minutes, you get into it. You do. You don't even realise you're doing it. Be like that, yeah, do you want to go straight there or do you want to go to the boots first? Be like that, yeah. Yeah, hang on, I've just got to pop in the post office. And it's quicker than walking, so you're just like zipping through the crowds like oh, fantastic. People out the way, it's brilliant. We're in the shops like that. Hey, hey, there's that game you wanted. There's that. that got, there's that game. They might have it cheaper in game. Yeah, let, let's, hang on. We're going to check in game first. See what they've, come on. Walk on. Most of us are capable of breaking up a sentence to get a swear word in there somehow. <laughs> the guys I admire, the professional swear words, <laughs> who can actually break up a word, get a swear word in the middle of a word. <laughs> eh? Those guys are umber, fucking leaveable <laughs> at all. <laughs> eh? When I was a kid, we never had all these paedophiles and all that sort of thing. You know, they just weren't around. No. We had to buy our own fucking sweets. <laughs> Kids are today, don't they? They're born, don't they? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Remember I was walking home from town with my mum. I was about ten years old, walking back out from town. And we seen two dogs shagging in the street. Now, I mean, they were really going for it, you know what I mean? I, I was only little, so I've gone with nerve. Wow, look, look at that. My mum's going, come on. I'm going, no, look, look, look what they're doing. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Take me away. So, what were they doing, mum? She says, uh, they were dancing. <laughs> now, she said that because she's trying to protect me in some way. But it didn't, did it? No. <laughs> Fucking first school disco, I nearly got expelled. <laughs> Wilson comes up to me, I'll never be... You're going to dance with me or not? That's what you want. Same as smoking. You know eventually the kids are going to grow up and start smoking, you know? Trying to protect them best you can. I mean, mine are only four or five years old. It's a bit early for them to start at the minute. So I'm doing what any natural... What any decent parent would do, and that is I've started them on the patches. <laughs> No, because when, you know, when they try that first cigarette, it's going to become as less of a shock, you know, I'm doing it for them. My parents never did that for me, you know, trying to give them an advantage. Every time they cut themselves, they just put a nicotine patch on, they don't know. <laughs> you know when you're a proper smoker, right, when 
the fact that you smoke starts to affect your choice of holiday destinations. <laughs> That's when you know you're a proper smoker. Daddy, we could go to America, it's only eight hours. Fucking eight hours, are you insane? <laughs> There is no way we go in eight hours. What's wrong with you? I went to America once, yeah. Eight hour flight, an hour check in, 12 hours without a cigarette. It was six times better than my all time best ever having given up before. <laughs> you know when you've got smokers on the plane, because their little table is just piled high with nicorettes and mints and gum and just shit, it's all just in a big pile like that. And as soon as the plane touches the tarmac, the smokers are all up, out of the seats, got the coat on, and the fucking damn we go like that, shoot up in the door. They want to be first off their plane. They're just thinking of getting outside, get a fucking fag on, let's get a... <laughs> Minute the doors open, they're off. They've got them little leather, yellow carrier bags with the duty freeze in. Let's go, they're like... <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> off down the thing, <coughs> pushing old people out the way. <coughs> ah, you fucker. Fucking oh, brilliant. They get as far as customs, red, anything to declare, green, nothing to declare, a lot of that. It's too confusing. Like Th these people are addicts, man. You know, they need help, okay? We should have an express smokers lane. Call it the brown lane, yeah? So they can just go down the brown lane. <laughs> Wouldn't need to put any advertising material down there because they ain't got time to be looking at that. No leaflets about sea life world or shit. They ain't got any time for any of that. Just down there like, <laughs> oh, you fucker. Get as far as baggage reclaim. The smokers, yeah, they're the ones that are climbing all over the boats because they ain't got time to wait for it to go around a second time, you know what I mean? They're just pulling all the gear off. Come on, come on, kids, let's get outside. Come on. Well, just drag it then. Come on, let's get outside. Daddy, daddy, they're not our bags. Whatever, let's get outside. Come on. And then in the rest of the airport, you've got the non-smokers. They've got all the time in the world. <laughs> their trolleys, all mounted up with their cases. Hey, look, George, there's a Thai shop. I might pop over there and have a look in this. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, look, here's some leaflets here about walks and places of interest. They're quite dull. Surely we'd be interested in that. <laughs> all in the way. Suddenly, the smokers are coming. Oh, <coughs> you fuck out the way. <laughs> Just pushing people out there. Old people going, trolley stuff everywhere. 50 yards away from the door, they've got a fag in the lap. Come on! Get outside. Getting unbelievable. I did that, got to Orlando, right? Done exactly that, got outside. Fag on. Blue skies, palm trees, flamingos. I'm like, fucking whatever. Fag on. Turned out I was standing in front of a site that was about that big. And this sign said, do not smoke directly outside the doors. I never noticed it. So I'm there like that. And along comes Sweepy Up Bloke. Sweepy Up Bloke comes along and he sees me standing there. And he's going... <coughs> <coughs> and he's pointing at the sign. No, but now he's giving me the unpoint now. So I've seen the sign. I'm not moving anyway. So <coughs> then he goes... Can't you read? I said, yeah, I can actually. Which is why I'm not sweeping up at an airport. Thank you very much, good night.